Hello everyone. I uh, decided to make a guide on Cradle Agent on the XBLA version of GoldenEye. I'm going to use uh, two runs here to demonstrate how the run should be played going for 34 pace. The first is uh, by Silent Sputnik and the second is by myself, Z. Uh, this level is actually uh, rather intimidating at first, especially for new players. However, as you learn how to do the level correctly, you will learn the level is fairly easy. And um, once you get good at the level, you could probably get a 34 within five to 10 minutes. If you're, you know, a very, very good player and have a lot of practice but even even a uh, average player on XBLA should be able to get this once an hour once they really know what they're doing so uh, here we go so this is um, Sputnik's run and you can see he starts full cutscene and if you guys don't know it's because Trev is moving during the cutscene and there's no yeah. timer during the cutscene so the level is basically broken up into like two main sections. It's before Trev gets to the hut and after Trev gets to the hut. Before he gets to the hut, your main goal is to get two ZMGs and reach the hut and get into position to start firing. And you have plenty of time to do so. Uh, you can totally break strafe here, um, kill guards, this one only had one ZMG, so he does need to get another ZMG from one of these two guards here. And uh, it, the odds are pretty good of getting it between the first and this guard right here. So he gets his second ZMG. Trev should be about halfway down the stairs, right around here, um, if you're going quickly. And if he's on the bottom of the stairs and you rush, you can still make it without losing any time. So this is the position you want to get in. What you're really doing is you can see right here where the railing starts to uh, curve here. You're going to position yourself right here and move forward to gain speed on the railing, which is what Sputnik does right here. And you want to kill this guard. You don't want to get back boosted on the way in. You could ignore the drone gun. The drone gun does not boost you very often on agent. Uh, if you guys don't know, the drone guns, they actually aim quicker. The higher the difficulty goes on agent, they move pretty slowly. So Trev is still invincible until the speech actually comes up on the top. So this is the first part of the level where you really need to learn what you're doing. So you can see here, he reloads. While he's reloading, at any point before you can actually fire, you just hold fire. You want to shoot the frame you're able to and just hold down the guns. And that will essentially sink the guns. And it's very important to make sure that at least one shot is depleted from each gun. Otherwise, you're only going to reload one of them. So right now, he's already holding fire. He can't shoot yet, but he's holding it. And right here... All the shots that are fired, as you can see, 30, 30, are synced, and they come out at the exact same time. Meaning right here, it looks like he hit Trev in the arm twice, which is good enough. You only need to really hit him two, with any two bullets here. And when he's down on the bottom, the next time you shoot him, you need to shoot him in the head. If you shoot him in the head and only one bullet hits, he won't die. So sometimes you'll shoot him in the head and people will say, hey, this is janky, this level is inconsistent, but that's not true. Often, only one of the bullets actually hit his head, and it's really hard to tell. So he gets shot here, and he starts running. Now a key point is, notice when Sputnik starts to actually move forward. If he starts moving forward too early, Trev just keeps running and doesn't activate the console. Once Trev is not visible anymore behind this door, 
See, he's visible, and the second he's not visible anymore, he starts running. Boom. That's how you cue the timing to start moving. The console's activated, and Trev will start running if you're within a certain range of him, and it, it will detect it through walls. Um, so you want to make sure that this goes off before you get within that range. I think Sputnik actually executed this very, very well. Gets the shot. You're immediately going to left strafe to the console, fire the console, destroy it, and you should get boosted off the console. The actual decimal required to get this time is not very difficult, and even if this part is not done as crisp as Sputnik, you're probably still going to get a 34. As long as you don't lose speed or break strafe, you'll get a 34 pretty easily. So here, he right strafes until he reaches the door, switches to left strafe, and then he left strafes all the way down. And while he's... Uh, Right before he gets to the door, he reloads. And he does the same thing. He starts holding fire right here. And he holds it the entire time until he runs out of ammo. Um, so he's holding fire. And r right when you get to the bottom of the railing here, Trev's going to start moving. And you just want to aim right around here. And allow him to run into your crosshairs. You don't really have to aim. You just... Put your crosshair in the same position and let him run into your crosshairs like that. Once he runs in, if two bullets hit the head, Trev dies. You can see he's dropping his gun here. And a habit that I used to get into is checking to see if Trev dies. If you do that, you'll never get 34. You just have to hope that it worked and continue your line. You don't want to look back. You continue left strafe. And you can see B completed right about here. Um, that's based off of the death animation that Trev gets. It is possible that you get a really slow one and B doesn't complete, but it's very unlikely. There's maybe three, maybe four death animations for the head out of like 15 that will actually happen. It's, it's not that likely. Plus you wouldn't know if it happens. So he's you're not gonna know if you killed him or not anyway. There's a lot of runs where you kill him and he just doesn't die and you leave and you think you just missed. This door should be open. It opens a little bit after he dies. And then once you get here, this part's kind of tricky. There's a ladder right here. And you want to walk off on the edge of the ladder on either side. As you can see, he kind of goes on the left side a little bit. I actually get stuck in my run here. And there you go. So that's Sputnik's run. It's a clear 34 pace, like not even close to 35. And there's the 34. So that's the way Sputnik does it. And uh, I'm gonna skip a lot of mine uh, the way I do it is somewhat different. I get two ZMGs here. Kill the guards. And uh, I do the exact same thing. I go in the same spot, kill the guard, build speed. Shooting Trev here is irrelevant as he's invincible. Reload. And... I left a little late. Like I said, Spuddy executed that really, really well. Boom. He gets shot right in the chest slash lower back. And I like to keep left strafe all the way to the door and just keep left strafe pretty much the whole time. Um, it's a little bit... Uh, risky in the runs that i've actually done you often get boosted by a guard by doing this and i really don't know why but it does happen somewhat frequently i think it's a little easier to execute than the way spuddy does it but uh i think you're gonna you know get boosted by a guard a little bit more from inside the hut 
but you have two options essentially on how you want to approach the ramp here. And uh, I do the exact same thing. Reload, I'm holding fire right now. Fire all the way down and you can see hits him right in the head. Might com be completed here because the death animation was faster, but it's completely irrelevant. And then I pause here. Um, pausing saves 0.2-ish. Uh, it saves about 0.2 if you do it correctly. However, it's not going to get you a 33. I, essentially, I did this because I noticed it got stuck at the top on the ladder and uh, wanted to just ensure that I got it. But that's the way I do it. So hopefully this helps, you know, anyone trying to get the time. And, uh, you know, if you have questions, feel free to message me because a lot of people tend to be asking me how to play control. I don't know why. Level kind of sucks. Peace out.